As Jonathan Chait recently explained in New York Magazine, that leaves Republicans with three paths to winning, making inroads among non-whites, driving up their margins among older white working class voters, or disenfranchising Democrats. They have pursued the latter two options. What we're seeing is that the GOP is actually in a demographic crisis right now with its key voting population, which is the white working class. Um, and, you know, despite the fact that pieces like that in the nation, um, you know, predict that Republicans will need to cater to this key demographic to win the election, the fact is, is that they're polling incredibly poorly. You know, while in 2010 they might have won by a landslide, you know, as much as a 30-point margin, over Democrats with the white working class. What we're seeing now is that most recent polling, and I believe that piece in the nation actually does refer to this poll, um, Obama against Romney is holding a single digit margin right now um, with white working class voters. And so what I think we're seeing is that the Republicans are in, in crisis, like I said, and they're not quite sure what to do because the other demographics of the country, like was previous mentioned, previously mentioned, you know, our country is about to become a majority minority country. And so the other key demographics are communities of color, which the GOP has consistently alienated, not only through the primary race, but through their policies, you know, which seek to not only slash critical investments like education infrastructure, but they're protecting, you know, the most wealthy um, with tax loopholes. And so the GOP is really not presenting itself as an inclusive party that either appeals to the white working class or to communities of color, two key demographics that you need to win this election. Support Ontario's public television. Donate at TVO.org.